for some reason, investment managers like to complicate things and make investing seem like rocket science. True financial planners, and you know who you are, have a term for those individuals. Financial salespeople. This topic is one of the most important items of planning needs. I often tell clients that the crucial number in investing is how much you are saving, not your rate of return or your account balance. If you have a consistent investment strategy, you will be rewarded in the long run. So you might be asking, well, how do I save 15 to 20% of my income? We'll follow this plan of attack and we can get you that 15 to 20%. So first, take the full employer match. Then max out your Roth IRA. Then after that, you can back into your 401k. I could probably leave it at that and you've been looking pretty good. However, I want to leave you with a few ideas and thoughts for your investing. So know that the stock market is not a get rich quick dream. So don't start investing with that mentality because you'll only be let down. The stock market is a tool to help build your wealth, not create it overnight. And also remember that wealth building is a marathon, not a sprint. The tortoise wins the race every time I read the tortoise and the hare. So investing is about the life you want to live later on. However, it's based on your decisions today. And if you're looking for allocation advice, it won't happen in a video. Allocations are based around the individual psychology and tolerance for risk and the specific goals for each account. A retirement account will be invested much differently than the five-year trip to Europe vacation fund. So don't make investing more complicated than it has to be. Let us stress about all those weird ratios. And at the end of the day, you should learn a little bit more each time you sit down with your planner. That's a sign of a great planner versus salesperson.